In the era of neon leg warmers and synthesizer beats, a television series emerged that would etch itself into the fabric of pop culture. As you rewind the reel of your memories, cast your mind back to that first encounter with the 1982 TV series, Fame. Do you recall the anticipation that tingled in the air as you settled into your couch, ready to be transported into the vibrant world of aspiring artists? at the New York City High School of Performing Arts. Perhaps it was the undeniable rhythm of the opening theme that seeped into your senses, a beat that mirrored the heartbeat of each young dreamer depicted on screen. Or maybe it was the eclectic ensemble of characters, each with their unique aspirations, quirks, and struggles that drew you in. From the ballet dancer with unwavering determination to the brooding actor grappling with self-doubt, these characters mirrored facets of our own journeys. But it wasn't just the stories that resonated, it was the way they were told. The show embraced the art of performance not just as an art form, but as a metaphor for life itself. The spotlight's harsh glare illuminated both triumphs and tribulations, mirroring the stage of existence we all traverse. Now, as we prepare to lift the curtain on some lesser-known tidbits about the show, let's take a collective step back and reminisce about the moments that painted themselves onto our minds like vivid strokes of a passionate painter's brush. As the journey of nostalgia begins, remember the rush of emotions as these young talents danced, sang, and acted their way into our hearts, leaving an indelible mark that has stood the test of time. Prepare to uncover the veiled anecdotes that surround fame, shedding light on the backstage tales, the unscripted laughter, and the footnotes of history that gave birth to this iconic series. With each revelation, the connection between past and present will become clearer, proving that the journey to stardom is a symphony composed not only of the polished performances, but also the raw, unfiltered moments that give them life. So, as we tread the nostalgic path down memory lane, brace yourself for the unexpected, the surprising, and the utterly enchanting stories that swirl around the making of fame. It's time to rekindle that fire that burned bright on our screens and in our hearts, and embrace the enchantment of artistic dreams coming alive. Debbie Allen, from two lines to iconic legacy on fame in 1982. The hit TV series Fame burst onto screens, capturing the heart and rhythm of aspiring young talents striving for stardom. Among its initial cast, Debbie Allen emerged as the dance teacher Lydia, although her on-screen presence in the first episode was limited to brief auditions, where she bestowed praise on Leroy's mesmerizing moves. Yet, even with just two lines, Allen's energy was palpable, leaving an indelible mark on the show's early moments. As the credits rolled, Allen's character was etched as Lydia a name that would become synonymous with her for years to come. Her path diverged from those mere lines, as she eventually took the reins behind the camera, directing and producing a substantial number of episodes. This unexpected evolution blossomed into an iconic legacy, with Alan's impact on fame stretching far beyond her original, albeit noteworthy, introduction. The show's journey, however, was no less remarkable. Airing on NBC's Thursday nights, Fame initially faced a struggle for survival, falling victim to low ratings that led to its cancellation. But the spirit of resilience ran deep within the show's premise, propelling it into the realm of syndication. Freed from network constraints, Fame thrived anew, embracing a unique trajectory that allowed it to flourish for several seasons, captivating audiences through its unbridled passion and vibrant performances. Behind the scenes, Fame maintained a dynamic synergy between the studio lot and the bustling streets of New York City. Despite predominantly being shot at MGM Studios in Culver City, California, the production embarked on an annual pilgrimage to the Big Apple. These journeys yielded the city's pulsating energy and authentic backdrop, enriching the show's narrative with genuine urban flair. In a world where roles evolve, stories unfold, and ratings waver, fame defied conventional norms. From Debbie Allen's modest start to her lasting impact, from network cancellation to triumphant syndication, from studio backlots to the bustling streets of New York, fame etched its name in television history. A testament to determination, resilience, and the enduring power of artistic pursuit. 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 When fame dazzled the UK, a rise and fall in the early 1980s, the United Kingdom was captivated by the American television series Fame, a show that showcased the lives of talented students at the New York City High School of Performing Arts. Bursting onto the screen with its vibrant cast and memorable musical numbers, fame quickly became a sensation on both sides of the Atlantic. 
Debuting on U.S. television, the show's magnetic appeal was limited to its characters on screen talents alone, and a captivating revelation from an METV Legends interview with Debbie Allen. It was unveiled that she wasn't just portraying Lydia Grant, the passionate dance teacher. She was also the choreographer behind the scenes. Allen's commitment to her craft was so resolute that she took on the role primarily for the chance to shape the show's choreography herself, both on and off camera. But it wasn't just Allen's dual role that left an indelible mark on the series. As the final season loomed, Allen found herself treading the boards of Broadway in Sweet Charity. A masterful balancing act ensued as her stage commitment coincided with the filming schedule. To accommodate her, the producers engineered a unique solution. All of Alan's scenes were shot in the heart of New York City. This logistical feat resulted in her presence being confined to exterior scenes, a distinctive characteristic of that season. Across the Atlantic, the UK was ensnared by fame's magic. The British Broadcasting Corporation swiftly acquired the show, capitalizing on its newfound popularity. For the initial two seasons, the viewership soared, igniting a cultural fire that even birthed a live touring show, The Kids from Fame, bolstered by chart-topping songs. However, enthusiasm began to wane with the advent of the third season, and a series of significant cast changes further eroded the show's appeal. The once iconic series slid from its prime time throne, relegated to a less coveted broadcasting slot. Ultimately, the fame phenomenon that had ignited the UK's screens dwindled as the BBC made the pivotal decision to discontinue the show. Despite its dazzling start and meteoric rise, the show's fate mirrored the cyclical nature of fame itself, a fervent ascent followed by an inevitable decline. In retrospect, fame remains a testament to the capricious nature of television stardom, its trajectory shaped by intricate choreography, behind-the-scenes complexities, and audience whims alike. A legacy of fame endures as a vibrant chapter in the cultural tapestry of the 1980s, a time when dreams were danced, sung, and shared on a global stage. 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 Janet Jackson, renowned for her musical prowess today, once graced the small screen in the 1982 TV series Fame. In her role as Cleo, she joined the vibrant cast in the show's third season. This marked her third television appearance, having previously been seen on different strokes and good times. However, behind the scenes of the glittering world of fame, shadows loomed. Jackson and her fellow young cast members alleged mistreatment by the producers, leading to a disheartening decision. Before the season's conclusion, Jackson made a bold move bidding adieu to the series. The bright lights of the show often obscure the intricacies of its production. While the movie adaptation shimmered against the New York City skyline, the series unfolded its drama mostly on Los Angeles turf. This geographical dichotomy added layers to the show's narrative as it danced between the coasts. In the intricate tapestry of fame, another thread weaves its tail. Erica Gimpel, a standout presence in the first season, momentarily vanished from the spotlight. Her absence in the final episodes wasn't a mere artistic choice. Rather, she was focused on completing her high school education. Even amidst the world of aspiring talents, education remained a priority. As we remember the echoes of fame, let us not forget the whispers of its complexities. Janet Jackson's departure, the East Coast-West Coast interplay, and Gimpel's dedication all contribute to the rich legacy of a series that, beneath its glitz, portrayed the struggles and aspirations of young artists. In an Emmy 2V Legends interview, Debbie Allen revealed the untold story behind the hit 1982 TV series Fame. The show, known for its blend of musical numbers and dramatic scenes, captured the hearts of young viewers across the nation. Yet, Allen disclosed that the perfect romance envisioned for the show never materialized due to restrictive censorship and societal constraints of the time. Allen, who played the formidable dance teacher Lydia Grant on the series, lamented that the ideal romantic pairing on fame would have been between Lee Curry and Jean Anthony Ray, two of the show's charismatic cast members. However, the prevailing censorship norms of the era, coupled with the fact that certain individuals were still closeted about their sexual orientations, thwarted this potential storyline from coming to fruition. The Fame series, which followed the lives and ambitions of students at New York City's high school for the performing arts, gained a devoted following, particularly among young audiences. Its unique format, combining engaging musical performances with compelling narratives, allowed cast members to showcase their multi-talented skills. 
The show's popularity reached such heights that the cast embarked on live concert tours, satisfying the fervent fan base that had become enamored with the characters. Debbie Allen's revelation sheds light on the challenges and limitations that television productions faced during the early 1980s. It serves as a reminder of how far the entertainment industry has come in terms of inclusivity and representation, as well as the evolving landscape of television storytelling as fame continues to hold a special place in the hearts of those who fondly remember its vibrant characters and catchy tunes. Debbie Allen's insights offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes complexities that shaped the show's narrative trajectory. The unrealized romantic connection between Lee Curry and Jean Anthony Ray serves as a poignant reminder of the societal barriers that once constrained creative expression on television. Decades later, fame remains a cherished cultural artifact both for its entertainment value and its reflection of the challenges faced by artists and creators in an earlier era of television history. In history. In his As we wrap up this journey down memory lane, it's remarkable how a single television series like Fame, which first graced our screens back in 1982, has managed to etch itself into the tapestry of our lives. As the final curtain falls on our discussion, take a moment to reflect on the dance of emotions it inspired within you. Whether it was the electric thrill of the auditions, the poignant crescendo of dreams being realized, or even the bittersweet note of farewells, fame managed to transcend the confines of the screen and resonate deep within our hearts. In a world where dreams often collide with the harsh realities of life, the series brought to light the passion and dedication required to shine brightly. The characters' journeys were more than just stories. They were mirrors reflecting our own struggles and triumphs, reminding us that greatness is born from perseverance. Was there a particular character's journey that resonated with your own? Or perhaps a scene that has stayed with you, serving as a guiding star through your own endeavors? Your thoughts and memories are what keep the spirit of fame alive. Share your stories, your insights, and your cherished moments with the world. Let's celebrate the power of art, ambition, and the everlasting impact of a series that dared to showcase the pursuit of one's artistic truth. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane and delving into the world of fame. Your time and enthusiasm are truly appreciated. Until next time, keep the spirit of creativity alive and let your passions shine brightly, just like the stars of fame. Stay inspired, your name.